Hello everybody and welcome back to Skyrim. This is part two of our brand new Skyrim playthrough. And before we get started in this episode, I do have a few mod updates. The first of which is uh, I installed and unsolved a few different graphic mods. The biggest of which is Vivid Landscapes. And uh, I, I unsolved Vivid Landscapes and I installed a really good mod uh, called Detailed Hi. Distant Terrain 2, which should make the distant terrain look much better than it was earlier. Now the non-graphical mod that I installed between episodes is a mod called Honey Strand Meadery. Now this is a really awesome uh, business mod because it allows you to build and create your own meadery in Skyrim and actually sell uh, what uh, uh, drinks you brew and uh, make in the meadery. Now this is just one of a few different uh, entrepreneurial <laughs> mods that I have installed, uh, uh, one of just a few business mods that I have installed, uh, which I really hope are going to become a big part of this playthrough, because we just don't want uh, our uh, Strider, we don't, we just don't want Strider to be a simple hunter, we want him to be an entrepreneurial uh, scholar, I guess you could say. So anyways, with that out of the way, I said in the last episode, right after we walked, in, er, right after we got into Riverwood for the first time, uh, that I would start this episode off before we go over to Whiterun to warn the Yarl about the dragon attack with leveling up. So let's go ahead and do that. Leveling up. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with health for the first one and then stamina for the second one. Okay, awesome. And uh, the next uh, time we level up, we'll go with magic. Okay, what should we put these perks into? Uh, ranged weaponry. Yeah, let's go range weaponry. The first steps taken by a spying archer involve training the eyes to see detail at range and focus on distant targets calmly. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Nice. And we don't... Okay, yeah, we, we could get one of these, but I think we should probably put into light weaponry. Our second perk point. A man at arms should be many things, but first, he must learn the basics, uh, the basics of armed combat. When blood is shed, he is ready. Okay, let's do that. Great. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead and start off with heading over to White Run. Uh, what time is it, by the way? 7.09. Okay, so we should be able to get to White Run before 10.30, hopefully. What, what's up with this dead wolf? Did you kill the wolf? Gosh, looks like we have a badass on our hands. Holy crap. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, let's go ahead and continue on. Ah, so great. Hopefully this rain subsides pretty soon. Light armor increases 16. Okay, great. Oh, look at this, some mushrooms. Great. And uh, another one of the graphic mods I installed. Awesome, this will go ahead and get that. Uh, one of the other graphic mods I installed uh, is Detailed Mountains, which should make the mountains, and you can already see, like, it, the mountains look a lot better. Even the rocks. Let's put this. Okay, okay. More mushrooms. Look at this, even more thistle. Holy crap. Oh, there's a rabbit. Okay, let's go ahead and take that rabbit out. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh, crap. There's a wolf. Okay, let's go ahead and take him out. We'll get that rabbit in a second. Okay. Wolf is down. Okay, so that rabbit's still there. Oh, okay, nice. I actually took out the rabbit. Any other wolves around? Okay, there are. We can go ahead and pick up that rabbit. Got some dinner. Sure, there are any wolves around? Oh, there is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get our shield out. There we go. Light weaponry increased to 22. Nice. We can already level up to level three. Okay. Well, now we have some dinner, which is good. We'll field. Field dress that wrap a bit later. 
when you're wet. Like I said, hopefully this rain subsides pretty soon. Oh nice, some mountain flowers. Okay, thought that was some more mountain flowers. Even more, wow. What's going on, on up ahead? Got some damn Imperials. Looks like they're escorting a Stormcloak, Stormcloak prisoner. Yep, sure enough. With imperial business. Be gone. Gosh, so, uh, Imperial bastards. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Over Stormcloak wants to see them. Why are they bringing him over there? Are they gonna like drown him? What the heck? Or are they just like waiting for like the water to subside or something? Like, like gosh. Citizen, warning. Your presence is interfering with imperial business. Be gone. Okay, I'm going. Gosh. What's this? Suspicious cart rubble. As you travel near the edges of Whiterun, the rubble of a recently destroyed travel cart can be seen on the edge of the road. It seems to have been stripped clear of any valuable items, but there may be hidden items that guards and passing travelers may miss. Search the debris for items, ignore the cart for now, and move on. Okay, let's go ahead and search the cart. Picking away at the rubble reveals only a few gold coins and items, but of particular interest is a tarred letter. It indicates that the cart was being operated by a small band of bandits traveling to a hideout they refer to as Winstead Mine. Accompanying the letter is a small map that highlights its locations as being in the marshes of Halmarch, in between the Nork tombs of Usengraf and Highgate ruins. Okay, interesting. Oh, I'm gonna have flowers. Great. Yep, know how to use a map. Yep, sure enough, Winstead Mine. Great. I have to do that pretty soon. Tundra cotton, get that. More flowers. Pain brood meanery discovered. Okay, great. Wow, look at White Run. Looks great. Go ahead and get our bow out. Wow, what is that over there? Oh, there's a giant. Okay, that's. Oh, great. Okay. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. What is a shield, An outsider, brother? Eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for Can me I to join say. you? You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Speak with the leader of the companions. Looks strong. Okay, let's search the giant. Skyforge steel arrow. Come wow, to okay. Oscar and be a companion. Getting tired of hanging around talking all day. Okay, right, well, great. We're going to have to do that pretty soon. Awesome, okay. Down the flowers. So, uh, I'm a big fan of the Total War games, especially Total War Rome 2. Uh, but, oh wow, look at the new market stalls for White Run. Unfortunately, it's 8.56 and no one is in there. Anyways, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Total War games. White Run Seal is discovered. Great. Um, and for uh, Total War uh, Medieval, one of the, the medieval Total War game, uh, there was a mod for, it was a Middle Earth mod, which added in a bunch of the factions from uh, like Skyrim, not Skyrim, uh, from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And the mod was like really popular, but now since Attila is released, they have a bunch of uh, they have many more like modding tools and uh, like ways of modding the game, so they can. Uh, so like I watched a video earlier on how they're bringing the mod back, but for Attila, and it just looks amazing. You can, uh, they even have like all seven, or they're wanting to make all seven of the dwarf factions. Official business only. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. A news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Yeah, let's go with that one. Speech we'll increase to 22. Great. That wasn't 
very difficult. Like, anyone could just, like, walk in with just, like, a very little persuasion. They'd be like, oh, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, even though I'm just, like, jam-packed full with, like, weapons and I have a bunch of skooma on me and stuff, she let me in because, uh, you know, um, pretty popular, yeah. And then, like, the guard will just, like, let them through and it'll just be like, oh, god damn it, and, like, why runs, like, crime will go up, oh, it's just gonna be horrible. Like I said, uh, I'm a big fan of Total War, uh, Total War games. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to play Total War till yet, but I will get soon. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask your little for help? Have Talking you met you. my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Oh, oh, awesome! The clouds are starting to part. White Run Sewers, Plains District. Oh, great. Okay. Until next time. Well, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and head up to Dragon's Reach in the morning because right now it is 9:25. So yeah, we should wait till morning to head up. But first thing we will head up because it is quite pressing matters. Find point two, Baron Mare. Nice. Level three. So yeah, we'll le we'll level up before uh, tonight. Before we go to bed. Ah, great. Ah, first time white run. So exciting. Oh wow, this place is like a just bustling. Come on in. Okay. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. I ain't. I done enjoy nothing. this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you okay. need? I'd like to rent a room for a higher gold. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Great. Okay. Higher gold loss should be fine. Uh, what do you got for sale? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Yeah. Okay, so they have a bunch of alto wine. Alto. What's the difference? Okay, uh. Well, this food's very expensive. But we will be able to make it one day, hopefully. <laughs> sell it to her. Okay, there's nothing really too good. Uh, let's see what we can sell her. We can sell her some mountain flowers. Uh, oh, why don't we sell her some. These guys. Just get a little bit more gold. Thistle branches. We have a bunch of thistle branches. Sell some of those. 35. Should be good. Okay, well, the rest we'll keep for right now. Actually, we can sell some of these. Great. Okay. Well, anyways, besides that, I don't think there's very much we can sell. We don't have very much food right now. Uh, I'm Here, looking for work look guiding leads. Some of the yard's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay, well, sweet. We're completely dry. Or dry. Kill the bandit leader located at Silent Moon's camp. Great. Uh, I need these balls filled with water, please. No, I'd like some water for three gold. Yeah, let's get a few things of water. Okay, then. Uh, heard any rumors lately? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind I actually haven't. It's part of the Temple of Kinaret. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. <laughs> I, li I like how this guy in the background is just like, oh, he's leaving. No. But he was just like cooking and baking the whole time we were talking. Uh, Have any you more seen that rumors? shrine of Asura? They say the dark elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Visit the shrine of Asura. Okay. Great. Well, you don't have to, but okay. Ah, great. As he told of old battles in gold he had made. Her room's up here, then. Oh, wow. Great. What time is it? It's 10.07. Yep, so we got here. Pretty good timing. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead and level up. And we can have some food. Okay. What should we have? Uh... So we have two pieces of bread, we have some cabbage, and we have some carrots. So, we have some raw rabbit too. Tomato soup. Where do I get the tomato soup from? I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a piece of bread for right now. And we're full. Great. Then can we have a little bit of cabbage too? Okay, and then uh, we can have some... Yeah, let's have some wine. We're no longer thirsty. Good. Great. Okay. 
Okay. Who's she? You want Great drink? Broken. What? No, no I'm good for right now. No more questions. Who's this guy? Hmm. <laughs> Old birth war bear is just sitting back here all by himself. And who's this? Dino. Okay, so they have larger accommodations. Wait. Yes. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and sleep. What's up here? Oh, there's some cabbage. Right, let's take that cabbage. What else do they have in here? Oh, some gold. We can take that. What if they leave gold in the dressers up here? Nothing up here. Anything? These? Cupboards? Uh, just gold. Okay. Well. Oh, what about right here? Rolls of paper and even more gold. Wow. Okay, we have 514 gold. Fantastic. Uh, well, it's 1034, so let's go ahead and sleep. Let's sleep for, uh, we can sleep for eight hours. How that? So, so we should wake up at about six in the morning. Great. Okay. Great. Slightly thirsty. We're hungry. So before we set off to the... Wow, it looks really great in here now. Most of everyone left too. Before we set off, let's go ahead and have... Uh, which keeps on that bread. We can have... Uh, do I, Yeah, let's have some water. And since we're hungry, we can have cabbage. We can have a bit more, so let's have carrot too. And we're full. Great, let's go ahead and set off. Okay, gosh, okay. So, uh, that was really weird. It skipped for a little while. I don't know if it was still recording. I hope it was. I hope it didn't skip a thing. But just to be careful. One. There we go. That guard looks so sad over there. Holy crap. Alright, look at all this lavender. Look at all this stuff. Great, okay. Oh, there's a bunch of pastries here. Wow. This is the elder green, the green tree. Gosh, I hate that guy. Oh, okay, he hasn't really annoyed me very much, but to be fair, we fair increase to 16. Oh, we forgot to level up. Okay, well... Dragon Reach discovered. We'll do that in a little while. Okay, great. So there are a few different things that show that, oh, okay, I, uh, sorry about this problem guys, I'll try to fix it between the episodes, I have melted fix in the past, but I should be able to see soon. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. I just... I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Okay. Oh, you missed your. Okay. She missed her sh sheath, but anyways. Oh, so you were at Helgen. Oh, it's very you bright. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut my head off. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Why oh, the mouse is shaking? But it's none of my concern there who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. The dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it's heading this way. way. Yeah, we can go with that. Irelith was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the that dragon is lurking in the mountains. It's a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough! Not. 
I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. Quite like that sword. Excuse me. I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a Pearl said token of my esteem. There is another thing False you can do for me. Suitable for someone guy. of your particular talents. Perhaps. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. Well. Go ahead. Head over here. Wow. This looks pretty nice. Besides the little problems with lighting and all that stuff, which I will try to fix between the episodes. That's just, uh, especially with those guys being missing. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Okay. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. I'm listening. <laughs> All right, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go huh. to Bleak okay. Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know the stone yeah. tablet is in Bleak Falls? You must preserve some professional secrets, must we? I have my source. Take that your name is Farngar right. Secret Fire. Yes, uh, how do you enchant weapons and armor? Tell me more about the Dragon War. What do you have for sale? Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? Uh, let's ask him about the Dragon War. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlord. So were all the dragons killed in the Dragon War? Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why? This very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. Okay, well, uh, anyways, I think we should go ahead and set off for you know, Bleak Falls Barrow, but right before we do that... Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf, you seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed in this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Okay, well, sorry, I was just taking a sip of my tea. Uh, anyways, like I was about to say, uh, oh, why is that scared all the ground? Gosh, um, anyways, uh, before we set off for Bleak Falls Barrow, there are just a few things, uh, just a few supplies we should pick up from the times that Stryer was. Uh, a ranger, which he needs to be able to survive in the wilds proficiently. Proficiently? No. Sufficiently. There we go. Is proficiently a word? I feel like proficient. proficiently is a word. I hope it is, at least. 
Or I must sound like an idiot. Well, anyways, yeah. So, we just have to get a few different supplies. Oh, wow, looks quite nice right now. A little bit of lag. But, uh, just, just a little bit choppy. Am I getting? Getting, like, about 30. Starting for, like, 20. Or, uh, yeah, right now it's, like, 20. Uh, anyways, that is to be expected. Um, should be fixed soon. Nice and dragon sun. Go ahead and get some of this stuff. It's a shame, isn't it? Great, okay. Uh, this go ahead and continue on. Crap, you two just look like you're super angry at each other. Just rival straw, uh, stalls. You're selling stuff from Soul Sign, you're selling stuff from baked goods. Gosh. Must be just like rough. Are you married? Look at all these guys. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and head inside the alchemist, uh, Cadius Cauldron. First off, just to pick up the first of uh, some of our supplies. Okay, everyone. Uh, we had our first crash of the series. And, uh, gosh, I really hate this lighting problem right here. It will, I'll try to ignore it until the next episode. I, I do really apologize about uh, some of the poor lighting in this. Uh, series so far. Like I said, I'll fix it between uh, episodes. Anyways, uh, the first thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna try and make some potions. So let's go ahead and see if. Nope, that's a disaster. About we'll bone meal and dragon stun. Oh, resist fire. Great. Okay. Resist twenty six percent of fire for thirty seconds. Great. We got blue mountain and uh, bone meal. Fortify concentration. Another great one. What about lavender and bone meal. Fortify Conjuration with Lavender. Great. Uh, what about these two? Nope. Uh. No. Nope. I doubt, yep, those aren't going to make anything. What about these two? Flare Undead. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Do that. Then we can do uh, Thistle Branch and Lavender. Nothing. Uh, we can do Thistle Branch and Red Mountain Flower. That then this will branch and purple mountain flower. Resist frost. Okay, gosh, that's that's really good. Okay, then we can do tundra. No, let's not do tundra con. Uh, let's not do salt pile. Actually, we can do salt pile. Nope, nothing. Okay, nothing. And lastly, nothing. Okay, well that's pretty good. Uh, we can go ahead and stop brewing. So we're gonna sell some of these to her to get a little bit of gold. We're gonna buy a few things from her. Could be a taxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. So you're a healer? Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Okay, uh... Do you ever think of returning to Cyrodiil? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived oh, in wow. the city for 20 years. 20! Okay, uh... Can I use your alchemy lab? As you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Yeah, I do. Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what... A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. Okay. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Well, uh, let's see what she so has for sale. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah. Oh, she has a bear heart and a bear tooth. Hmm, okay. Uh, oh, wow, she has a bunch of uh, potion grenades. Cinder um, incendiary potion grenade. Shot grenade, which is really good. Uh, anyways, oh, cure poison, that's a good one. Fortify marksmanship. Resist frost. It's good. Water breathing. Oh, cure diseases. Yeah, that's what we want one of those, but we're not going to buy it from her. Web master's potion for 30 seconds. Heavy weaponry and range weaponry. Do 20% more damage. Troll's blood. Uh, both for its uh, regenerative and toxic effects. The ceiling one or the other will require some kind of uh, <coughs> ablative agent. Huh. Potion Guardian. Okay. Well, let's see what food she has. She has some boiled spider paste, which is a medium meal that is sticky and sweet. Uh, okay. Uh, some 
ox heart, which is a filling meal, and it increases carrying capacity by 10 if outdoors. Oh, she's selling some skooma. Okay. A spire fry. Ew. And a uh, vegetable soup. Okay, good. Bear heart, beehive husk, a bunch of other stuff. Blister wart, which is very expensive. Uh, fear poison recipe, invisibility, and then uh, resist frost potion. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to buy any of those right now. Uh, Morning pestle. That's what we want. Right, let's go ahead and buy that. Okay, and then. Let's not sell any of those. What can we sell? We could sell some wine, but let's not for right now. Okay, here we go. Uh, we, we can sell. We have some conjuration, so why don't we sell one of those? We have resist fire. Flare on dead. Oh, we didn't really make very many good potions. So those guys. And, uh, yeah, we should keep the resist frost just because they're pretty good. Oh, we can sell a bunch of this lavender. Actually, let's sell all of it. Nice. That should be good. Uh, anyways, yeah, we have 508 gold. It's pretty good. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Okay. Yeah, like like I said earlier, I, I do apologize for the, uh, the hiding. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Oh, yeah, so we still have to level up. We'll level up right before we leave. I forgot uh, to level up before we left the um, <laughs> the end. I'll sip my tea real quick. Comment below if you're a tea drinker or a coffee drinker. Personally, I really like tea. Uh, yeah, I just uh, it's more of a recent thing. I've grown to really like tea. I'm drinking chai currently, with some honey in it. Yeah, so I'm still getting. Not the best frames. Yeah, I'm getting pretty bad frame. 30. Yeah, it's, it's at 30. 31, 32. Yeah. Two amp sets. I'll try to fix that. I work for Bellafort at the general goods store. Okay. Well, uh, what time is it? It's 10:24. Yeah, so we should be able to get Bleak Falls. Plenty of time to spare. Okay, so let's talk to her. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Oh, do you work the forge all day? I, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Thanks. What can you tell me about hmm, White Run? Plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Okay, uh, what do you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself? Or deal okay, so damage. we're gonna want to buy some, uh, some leather from her, but we should see what she has for sale. Iron Wakazashi, pretty interesting. Pickaxe. Oh, we, yeah. Let's go ahead and buy a pickaxe. Got that. Steel longsword. That's really good. Um, not too much good armor though. It's nothing that we really want. Okay, so yeah, so some leather. Uh. We can go ahead and buy. Okay, we're gonna have to buy two pieces of leather. Call it good. Now let's see if we can sell her anything. Uh, we can sell her this mace. This guy forged steel arrow, steel dagger. Um, we can keep the steel dagger for right now. For boots, oh, we should put those on. Oh, imperial set armor, definitely sell. And then let's keep the iron helmet. Then everything else we should keep. Actually, we can get rid of the storm cloak gauntlets. Probably should be wearing storm cloak armor. Uh, white run is sort of a don't forget to check imperial royal place. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's blacksmith real quick. We actually I'm the first person. It's actually this. Uh, is it G? Okay. Well, uh, the mod's not warranted correctly. Anyways, um, where is it? It's not hide. Oh, it's actually on the. It's actually over here. 
I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white run. Okay, so Norland food. There we go. Water skin. So, okay, so we need bits of bone and an animal bladder. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's actually the one we have. So, we have to make some leather strips. Oh. So. Small leather tent. Oh, we can make a small leather tent. Right. Uh, yeah, so. Leather strips. And then now we should make two water skins. Great. Okay. That's exactly what we need. Got some good pieces well, out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Okay. Uh, I think that's actually everything we need. I'm not going to fill the water skins up. Ah, again, even more lag. It's really frustrating. Uh, I'm not going to fill up any water skins just because... Um, go ahead and take our hood off. Just because we don't really... Uh, we, we can fill them up on our, our way. have to pay for them. Okay, well, uh, that's actually not the reason. I don't, I don't, I don't want to not have to pay... It's more of a, it'll be better just filled up. Uh, we have our trav travel cloak. We have this on. Oh, we get the Nov's hood on. Does that look, oh yeah, that looks a bit better. Uh, anyways, so let's go ahead and level up. Uh, oh, our Magicka is a lot higher. Uh, we could go with, let's go with Stamina for right now. Great, okay. I don't know where our Magicka is, 140 now. It's really weird. And we have one more perk point. Craftsman. Done with horseshoes and nails, a dedicated smith turns his attention to more challenging projects to continue his, ed his education. Actually, for right now, let's go ahead and save that perk point. Use it a bit later. Anyways, let's go ahead and set off from Whiterun for Bleak Falls Barrow.